Hi, this is Derek Murphy from creativity.com. So I'm working on this ebook and I'm trying to add drop caps that match the print formatting. Um, I made another video about this earlier, but the solution that I had found wasn't quite good enough because this is what my Kindle looks like. And um, I've got the drop cap. I put it up because when you have a drop cap that goes down, it may not look the same in all formats. Um, but that gave me this extra space here. And I went back in the code and got rid of the line height, I got rid of um, everything else, but just because this first letter is so big, it messes up this spacing and I wasn't able to fix it. So the, uh, so the options are either to just take this drop cap out completely because you don't really need it, it's better to go simple, um, but I wanted to persevere and see if I could find a way to actually get it done. Um, so this is what I've done. I had to edit the code quite a bit um, and style it a little, a little differently. So if we go into the code view, I can show you this whole paragraph, um, this full paragra paragraph here is just the normal block 14 paragraph, which looks like um, this. So it's 1.3 line height, there's a margin, but there's no indent because it's the first paragraph, as opposed to the other paragraphs which have an indent. So those are a little bit different. Um, but this large P here has its own span class. So it's a span class called drop cap. And I just use the code span class drop cap. I put the P there, span, and then the rest of it's the regular text and it's, it's within these paragraph markers. And then I have to make sure that my span class code in the style sheet is set up right. And that's what I'm playing with now. So this is what my span drop cap, drop cap uh, code looks like. And I've experimented with the font size and with the line height and um, to get it to come up the way that I want because I want it to kind of rise up like this is the print formatting so it's got about two lines here and then it rises above the text. To, to match that I had to go into the style sheet and set this margin top to negative 0.4. Um, I had to experiment with these sizes and figures to get it to display where I want. You can see if I make changes um, like this and then go back in the text, that P is going to be in a different place. That's so much, I put the negative um, from the top so much that now it's on its own line, which is too far. So I'd go back and I could make it a little bit bigger if I wanted to. So it looks kind of like that. That's about how it looks in the text. Um, I'm not sure that I would actually want to do that. That's pretty large for an ebook. If this was on like a iPhone screen, that's going to be really quite big. Um, so I'd probably do it a little bit smaller than that for the ebook version, which is why I had set it at five or so. Um, I'll put it at 6. And then I would have to go back and convert it to the Kindle again to see how it looks. When I'm converting for Kindle, all I have to do is save it and then I'll drag my EPUB file. Um, and now I have a bunch of different ones because I've been playing around with it. So I'll save it and I'll open up Kindle Previewer. This is what it looked like before. When you are formatting, you can make an ebook and just drag it and drop it into Kindle Previewer and it will automatically make a Kindle file for you so that you can see how everything looks. So here's my new file. I'm just going to drag and drop it over there. It's going to take a minute to compile the book. And then I can check whether everything looks like it should. Um, I'll have to find that chapter I was on though because I didn't do it to all the chapters. So this is the epilogue. And because I've done my table of contents well in the Kindle Previewer, I can just go up here 
and now this is in Kindle Preview. It's not exactly the same. It's taking up three lines. Um, it's down a little bit more. This is the Kindle Fire HD, but it looks pretty good. Um, and I can click on the other file, Fire HDs, and then I also want to probably go to other devices, Kindle e-ink, to make sure it's going to look good on every platform. And that's difficult with ebook design, which is why I usually don't try to do drop caps at all. It's kind of not worth it. So this is how it looks in the old school one. It's only a tiny bit bigger. Um, it doesn't look broken, so it's still fine. It still works, but it's not embedding the font like it's supposed to because the Kindle Voyage probably doesn't have fonts. The Kindle DX doesn't seem to be working very well either. You're going to find these issues. The older um, Kindle device you have, the less capabilities it's going to have, so it's not going to show all the fonts and do everything the way that you want it to. Kindle for iOS. So there's like this is how it's going to look for a Kindle for iPad and Kindle for iPhone. I think the Kindle for iPad software doesn't let you install your own fonts. Um, so those special fonts probably aren't going to show up. But we'll see how it looks just having the drop cap there. Kindle Previewer is a pretty good tool to kind of see how it looks on a bunch of different formats to make sure everything looks okay. If it looks okay in Kindle Previewer, it's going to look pretty good on Amazon. Um, the Amazon Previewer, when you upload to KDP and you check that instant previewer, that actually won't show you all the capabilities of all the Kindle devices. It's pretty limited. And also the look inside feature on Amazon itself isn't going to show up um, with all the fonts and all the styles like it's supposed to. This is actually taking a long time. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I might stop this video now because I don't really want to wait. Um, so that's a way to add in a drop cap to your ebook. I'm going to copy this code and I'll paste it right into the YouTube or at least I'll link to a, a blog post where I put all the code so that you can just um, grab the code for the style sheet and make your own drop caps in your ebook. Thanks. Bye bye. Oh wait, now it says it's done, but maybe not.